In a project that sounds like science fiction, researchers from Stanford and Caltech have developed a way to control the swimming speed of live jellyfish using removable microelectronics. But why? The goal of creating bionic jellyfish is to eventually send these biohybrid robots out into the ocean and keep track of markers of climate change, whether it's changing temperatures or pH or salinities. We want to wire up these robots in order to, to monitor what's going on in the ocean. An army of cyborg jellyfish to monitor the health of our ocean sounds very what the future. But before we get into how this all works, I gotta know, does this hurt the jellyfish? Jellyfish do not feel pain. They don't have any known pain receptors. They don't have a brain. They have a series of distributed nerve nets. So we're not causing any harm to the animals. The device is a series of readily available microelectronics. So you can purchase them off the shelf. There is a microcontroller, so it's kind of like the brain of the robot, and a battery that powers it, and two electrodes that embed into the jellyfish muscle. So in that way, it's kind of like a, like a cardiac pacemaker controlling the, the frequency in which the, the animals swim. When the device is removed, the animals act as they normally would. They're, they can still reproduce, they can still feed, they seem totally fine, and they don't have signs of stress, which is excreting more mucus. So far, the robotically controlled jellyfish can swim up to three times faster than their natural rhythm, using just twice the amount of energy. Jellyfish are incredibly energy efficient creatures. So if you want to take advantage of nature, then why not create a robot that integrates both an energy efficient animal as well as a microelectronic system. And the nice thing about this species of jellyfish is that they're pretty ubiquitous. So you can find them in a range of depth, temperatures, salinities. And so if you want to send these out into the ocean, then we want to find the most readily available species out there. Controlling the swim speed of jellyfish presents a lot of interesting questions and opportunities, but there's still a lot more work to be done before these biohybrid robots start patrolling our oceans. The next immediate step is improving the maneuverability of the robot. So at the moment, all of our experiments are done on straight swimming jellyfish whereas we want to incorporate turning and more types of maneuverability. So it would be ideal if we could create some sort of obstacle course, for example, in the lab and have the animals swimming through that. We'd also like to incorporate different sensors, such as temperature and pH. Um, and the idea is by incorporating all of these different components, we can then move to the next stage of testing this out in the ocean and seeing what markers can we actually track over time. Our ocean ecosystems have proven time and again that they are the canary in the coal mine of climate change. Mass coral bleaching events reflect the dangers of rising ocean temperatures, and our oceans also become more acidic as the water absorbs excess CO2 in the atmosphere. The acidification has already gotten so bad, it's literally dissolving the shells of young crabs off the western coast of the United States. It's important that we stay vigilant and connected with our oceans so we can evaluate how bad things really are and start taking the necessary steps to stop it from getting worse. We definitely don't want to pollute the ocean anymore and add more plastic or electronics into the ocean. We have thought a lot about retrieving the electronics later. And so if we have a, a swim bladder, for example, or some, some balloon that eventually carries the swim controller up to the surface, we could then use GPS and locate all of the materials from the swim controller. What do you think of these cyborg jellyfish? Would you like to see them help humans keep tabs on the effects of climate change? Let us know down below. Thanks for watching What the Fam. See you next time.